Hi everyone, Eggs is back with another video, and today I have another interesting matchup to cover. Jiraiya, one of the legendary Sanan and student of the third Okagi, versus I, the fourth Raikagi and son of the third Raikagi. I'll get this immediately out of the window, this matchup isn't really close, the sheer gap in strength and speed is too huge. But anyways, let's start the video by scaling Jiraiya first. Many people use this argument to upscale all of the Sanan. Let's see in what it consists. In part 1, even as an old man, Garuzan was stated to be the strongest Okagi alive between the five great ninja nations. Since Orosimaru was equal to him, and all the Sanan are equal to each other, Jiraiya was stronger than all of the alive Kagi too. While the Sanin being equal to each other may have been a thing back then, it surely wasn't in Shippuden. And yes, I said it may have been true, because we can't give an exact assessment on the Sanin power levels early on, since when they fought in the search for Tsunade arc, they were all nerfed in some kind of way. Prior to the big fight, Jiraiya got drugged by Tsunade. He couldn't even mold Chakra properly, and his body was numb. Orosimaru was armless and sick, he literally let Kabuto fight in his place because he couldn't do much. Plus, his body was at its limit. In the next arc, he had to switch it with the one of his prisoners. Sunad was out of shape. Kabuto did very well against her, and it was stated multiple times that in part one, Kabuto was just as strong as Kakashi. However, everything changed later in Shippuden. We saw all the Sanin finally going all out, and we got some interesting statements on them. The power difference between the Sanin and Shippuden was huge, and they weren't equal at all. Let's compare the performances of Jiraiya and Orosimaru against Four Tails version 2 Naruto, and see the differences between them. When Kakashi asked Jiraiya how many tails he saw Naruto with maximum, Jiraiya answered that he tangled with death two times in his entire life. The first time was when he tried to do his research at the women's bath at a hot spring, and he got clobbered by Tsunade. The second time was when the fourth tail of Nine Tails Chakra emerged from Naruto while they were training. So, not only Jiraiya got a giant scar on his chest, but he almost died when facing a Tails version to Naruto. Now, let's see how Orosimaru did against him. Orosimaru was disappointed in 3 Tails version 1 Naruto's strength. He even said that Sasuke was in another league compared to him. Orosimaru was still stronger than Sasuke at that point, so he was in another league compared to this Naruto too. Naruto decided to gave himself to Kurama, and he finally went for Tails version 2. The fight started and Orosimaru could react and dodge Naruto's chakra arms. Orosimaru was able to punch and push back this for Tails Naruto, and the attack that probably left a giant scar on Jiraiya's chest didn't do any permanent damage to him. With his triple Rasaman, Orosimaru was even able to block a full-powered Bijou bomb from this for Tails Naruto, which is insane. Then, Orosimaru emerged from the ground and slammed Naruto through the forest with his Kusanagi blade. We know for a fact that Orosimaru couldn't pierce the body of this Naruto, however neither Jiraiya could, and Orosimaru retreated only because his body was at its limit, he needed to perform the ritual to get a new Heathy body as soon as possible. And by the way, other than having a sick body, Orosimaru was still armless, and he didn't even use his Hydra form, which was stated to be his strongest version. So no, Jiraiya and Orosimaru weren't equal at all in Shippuden, since an heavily nerfed version of Oro did exponentially better than Jiraiya against Four Tails Naruto. The statement about old man Hiruzen being above the five great nation Kagi was confirmed to be true in Shippuden. We saw in the war arc that the Guru Guru statue was bullying the five Kagi until Edo Hiruzen intervened and was able to neutralize all of his attacks alone, performing way better than each and every single Kagi there. And no, Edo Hiruzen wasn't buffed, we know that the Edo Tensei is a nerf, the only thing that he had better was his stamina, since as an Edo, he had more chakra regeneration. That's why he could make more clones than when he was alive. As we saw before, in healthy part 1 Orosimaru was equal to Hiruzen, which we confirmed was stronger than any Kagi singularly. Meaning a full-powered Orosimaru could have probably defeated I, someone who was pressing KCM1 Naruto, and Jiraiya is nowhere near that level, proving again that the Sanin weren't really equal. Now, to end this part of the video, let's see how Tsunade compared to Jiraiya and Oro. Sadly, we don't have actual feats for her before the war arc in which she power creeped the other two. So let's use some logic and statements. 
During the pain invasion, when Naruto was still away training, Tsunade could have fought pain if she was strong enough, but she rather stood back and healed the injured, waiting for Naruto to come back and fight pain. Other than killing Jiraiya, Pain basically killed Kakashi too, and Tsunad felt that, thanks to Katsuyu. However, when she had Pain in front of her, she didn't even try to attack him. That could mean once again that Tsunad was weaker than him. Last but not least, Shikamaru's father stated that if Naruto had mastered Sage Jutsu, which he did, he would have been in a class of his own, which could mean that not even Tsunad could have helped him against Pain. So, yeah, based on all of that, I think that in the Pain Assault arc, Tsunad was weaker than Jiraiya, which proves once again that the Sanin had different power levels. Now let's start with the actual feats. Base Jiraiya is very weak, he thought that he needed Sage Mode in order to fight just the Animal Path. Gamakin was able to buy enough time for Jiraiya to enter Sage Mode and merge himself with Ma and Pa. Once in Sage Mode, which should be at least a 10 times multiplier by being stronger than the curse mark, Jiraiya and the Toads were able to detect the animal path and squash the chameleon. Then, Pain summoned the Predator and Human Path. We can say that the real fight started from now on. The Human Path rushed at Jiraiya trying to hit him. However, Jiraiya sent him flying with a kick and was even able to blind him. Even though the three paths had shared vision, Jiraiya could still keep up with them in speed, and that was shown multiple times. Jiraiya and Fukasaku never stated that the problem of pain was his strength or speed, but rather the ability of absorbing ninjutsu and having shared vision. None of the paths that Jiraiya fought was even able to lay a scratch on him. Once Jiraiya was able to blind their shared vision, he instantly took care of all the three of them. And by saying instantly, I'm not even exaggerating, he quickly kicked the animal path away, plus, he immediately binded the psyche of all the three paths with the frog song. Jiraiya stabbed and successfully killed the, the three paths that he was facing. But when he was leaving the battlefield, the Asura paths appeared behind him and by taking Jiraiya off guard, he was able to blow up one of his arms. And yes, Sage Mode users can be caught off guard, Pain himself stated that Jiraiya had his guard lowered in the moment that he took off his arm. Then, all the six paths regrouped, and attacked Jiraiya simultaneously. With just one arm and low on chakra, Jiraiya was able to capture and kill the animal path. Now, Jiraiya could have escaped, the only reason Pain got him, is because he went up to the surface of the sea, to try and discover Pain's true identity. Jiraiya went back up to the surface, and discovered Pain's secret. However, it was too late for him, his sage mode was off and he was 1 versus 6. Pain was able to get and ultimately kill him. So, in the end, a Jiraiya without intels on Pain, could kill three paths together, and capture and kill one of them while being 1 versus 6. Many people still bring up this statement of pain, saying that if Jiraiya knew his secret, he would have won. However, if you read the text near that statement, pain was just praising his master, nothing more. And feet speak for themselves, Jiraiya had trouble defeating just three paths, now imagine if he fought the six of them right from the start. We can say that maybe, if he started the fight with the intels that Naruto had, he could have killed another one or two paths. But that's still an hypothetical scenario. And don't forget the fact that Pain didn't even use the Chaotic Shinra Tensei, or the Chibaka Tensei, which are his strongest attacks, since those Jutsu would've destroyed the Rain Village too. Anyways, we saw the part that interested us, Jiraiya has enough AP to damage the paths, and speed to keep up with them, now let's see if the 4th Raikage can hold up to that. There is not much difference from the R we saw in the 5 Kagi Summit, and the one in the middle of the war arc, the Raikage trained his entire life, some more months of training would've not made any substantial difference from his 5 Kagi Summit version. It's just not possible. Having that said, let's start with the scaling. Iron Tsunad went to stop B and Naruto from joining the battlefield since they were Obito's targets. Naruto couldn't resist anymore, people were dying in order to protect him, he wanted to join the war and protect everyone himself. So, he tried to get past Ai and join the war, but the Raikage was able to easily intercept him and block his way with a punch. The crazy thing is that in the fourth data book, it stated that they Raikage boasted godlike speed, not inferior to the yellow flash Minato. And if you look carefully, the Raikage was stated to be not inferior to Minato, in just his version 1 lightning cloak. 
After getting hit, Naruto thought that Ai's punch was super solid and it could've hurt somebody. Naruto tried to get past the Raikage, but I was able to stop him once again, however, this time their speed was matched. The Raikage tried to kill Naruto, since he wasn't listening to him. Killer B intervened and stopped him. Then, we got a B and I flashback. After the flashback ended, Naruto tried to run away from I for the third and fourth time, but nothing, he couldn't get past him. Sunad decided to help Naruto, whom he got a mental amp since his parents gave everything to him, and they thought that he would've been the savior. The Raikage made up his mind, he wanted to test Naruto in order to see if he really was the savior that Minato and Kushina thought. So, he went version 2, and he was at top power as stated by Killer B. It's important to note that B knew how strong KCM1 Naruto was up until that point, but he still thought that a full power I could've killed him. The Raikage rushed at Naruto this time, and at top speed and power. However, after receiving a mental amp, Naruto was able to blitz and get past him. Here's what we learned from this fight. The Raikage in its version 1 cloak is as fast as the average KCM1 Naruto. Plus, while in version 2 cloak, he has the power to even kill him. This is crucial because Minato, who watched Sage Naruto fighting Pain, thought that Naruto would need to master Kurama's chakra in order to stand up and have any chance of defeating Obito. Minato basically implied that the Kyubi chakra mode would have given Naruto extraordinary strength compared to when he was just in Sage mode. Naruto himself confirmed that theory to be right, since in his fight against Edo Nagato, he stated that he was a lot stronger than when he fought against Pain, so than when he was in Sage mode. Sage Mode Naruto was stated to be stronger than Jiraiya so many times. It's laughable that some people still think otherwise. Sage Naruto being stronger than Sage Jiraiya was shown by feats too. Naruto fought all the six paths together and he was able to slam five of them without using the frog song. And don't give me the bullshit of pain was nerfed. Only the repelling abilities of the diva path were off during the Naruto fight, just read for one second. The so-called full power pain did zero damage to the real Naruto with his Shinra Tensei. That's what happened when the full power diva path tried to fight Sage Naruto in Taijutsu. Also, it doesn't even matter if pain was nerfed or not, since Jiraiya didn't even fight against the diva path properly. Before drawing the conclusions, I want to talk a bit about the MS Sasuke vs Raikage fight and debunk some common misconceptions. Many people will say that the Raikage sucks because he was getting killed by a Sasuke that was weaker than Sage Naruto. However, that is all wrong. Sasuke was getting demolished by Ai, the Raikage was able to dodge his Amaterasu, break a part of his Susanoo ribcage, and almost kill him with a kick if it wasn't for Gara stepping in. Also, the claim that Zetsu made holds no value since he thought that Naruto was stronger than Sasuke based off his limited knowledge. Zetsu didn't see the Taka vs B fight, so he didn't know how strong Sasuke really was at that point. The Sasuke Zetsu thought was weaker than Naruto was the one he saw in the Itachi fight. After fighting Itachi, Sasuke got many new power-ups and abilities, he unlocked the Mangekyo Sharingan, he learned to use the Amaterasu and how to extinguish it. Sasuke got an hatred amp once him and Taka got betrayed by Zetsu at the 5 Kagi summit. With just his regular Sharingan up, Sasuke was stated to have thicker chakra than when he was in Curse Mark version 2. So, this 5 Kagi summit Sasuke with just a 3 to most Sharingan is already arguably stronger than the one Zetsu thought was weaker than Sage Naruto. Then add the Mangekyo Sharingan, the Susanoo Ribcage, and mastery over the Flame Control. This Sasuke should already be stronger than Sage Naruto. And I mean, feet speak for themselves, this Sasuke could keep up in speed with the Raikage in version 1, something that Naruto was able to do later in the war arc and in KCM1, not in Sage mode. He could pierce his body enhanced with the lightning cloak by using the Chidori, and he could even react to the version 2 Raikage attacks and shield himself with the Amaterasu before they connected. And also, do you remember the statement of Killer B about I having the power to kill Naruto while in version 2? Well, Sasuke got hit by that Raikage, but he didn't die, and he had no signs of fatal injuries. So, in the end, the Raikage was stronger than Sasuke, he lost his arm and almost his leg too, not because Sasuke was too strong and fast, but because of the Amaterasu. And as we saw before, Sasuke wasn't Sage Mode Naruto level during the 5 Kagi Summit, but more like KCM1 Naruto level. 
It's time to draw the conclusions now. It should be pretty clear that I is way faster and stronger than Jiraiya, and for that reason, he would win fairly easily in a fight against him. Sage Mo Jiraiya is not even on Sage Naruto's level, let alone KCM1 Naruto, which the Raikage could keep up with in speed and hurt with his punches. The only win condition for Jiraiya would be using the Frog Song, but again, Frog Song takes too much time to be prepared, and I would realistically blitz him before Jiraiya and the frogs could cast it. Even if we were to give Jiraiya the same speed as the Raikage, Jiraiya would still lose. His AP isn't enough to pierce those lightning cloak, since the strongest Sasuke was barely able to do that. Jiraiya's durability is a problem too, since he got destroyed every time Pain touched him. And again, Pain is blatantly weaker than the KCM1 Naruto that the Raikage threatened to kill in version 2. Jiraiya has way better hacks and abilities, and he's a more versatile fighter to be honest, but that won't help him to cover the huge gap in stats between them. The Raikage wins, end of the debate. That's it for today's video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to support the channel if you want to see more videos like this one, and see you next time, peace.